Welcome, welcome my fellow familiars! Today I will be restarting XCOM 2 and it will be story time, just as promised. Uh, so before we start in, I think last time I played it on Legend, never finished it. I'm going to do Commander difficulty. I will skip the... Yes, disable tutorial. I don't care enough for it. Uh, I want permanent death. Uh, voiceover. Hmm. Also, I think I should correct the uh, options. Uh, audio, master volume. Or actually, you know what? Voice volume keep up, sound effects fine, music can go down. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So I hope that's fine with you guys. Okay. In we go. Commander difficulty, no tutorials. I hope it's going to be permadeath. If not, uh, enable Iron Man. Yep, that's the one. Uh, yeah, sure, sure. Accept. And in we go. So I'm going to play and tell you guys about my cooking stories. After this is done, of course. Of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. Keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. Peacekeeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. Perfect. Oh, either key. So there's going to be an explosion coming up soon. Sorry for spoilers, but I'm pretty sure most of you guys probably have seen this. Approaching position. You were right. They've definitely got their hands full today. Stay focused. Prep gate crasher. 60 seconds. improvements. Now it's going to sound absolutely insane of course and I'm not talking about all medicine terrible, but I'll get to it. That will shake up the okay so story time. Uh, about cooking as I have promised. Secure the designated uh, I'm terrible cook. It is literally the worst the thing I could possibly do. One of the things that I am capable of cooking is just barbecue and the only reason why I can cook barbecue is because it involves burning stuff and I'm pretty damn good at that. Uh, so, one of the few terrible cooking incidents that have happened. Okay, so first one. We have a fix on the target. Okay, Move sorry guys, I will have to re-remember the, the controls a little bit. This is the control, okay. 
this is rotate the map and right button click is movements excellent and i have to move all the way there place the charges so in order to do this i am going to be slowly advancing there is no time limit so I might as well do so this guy goes here okay cooking incidents uh first hilarious incident that i'm actually going to tell you guys is one time what has happened is my wife caught a very well at the time she was my girlfriend she I'm caught sure. a terrible cold like an extremely bad thing she was confirmed. she had a horrible fever and it was just as bad as it gets That's affirmative. and uh let and just uh, one of the crap i'm actually i should stop focusing on the game so much Moving on and just location. keep on doing other stuff anyway so one of the things that have happened i went over to her house and i thought i'd take care of her and well if somebody has fever we try to give them some tea make sure that they're hydrated and all of that stuff one of the problems is i can't even make proper cup of tea so what ended up happening is uh, how does one make tea you fill the kettle full of water you put the kettle on a stove at the high heat and then you wait until the kettle whistles and it's all good and ready to go. One of the things that I wasn't aware of, however, is that the kettle had that anti-scratch... Uh, what's it called? You know, the small piece of cloth that you put to make sure that the kettle does not scratch whatever surface that it's on. So it had it there. Uh, and the kettle already was filled with water, mind you. These guys make up the bulk okay, of the there we go. So what ended up happening, actually, when I picked up the kettle to put on a stove, I did not notice that the cloth thing got stuck to it. So I put the kettle on the stove, and I go sit down, everything's... I thought everything's fine and happy, feel very proud of myself for being so caring and nice and all that. Good copy. Move and then on. what happens is, uh, I think it was five minutes later, there was this loud pshhh coming from the kitchen. So my girlfriend gets a little bit worried, says, what is this, what's happening? And I say, oh, don't worry about it, it's all good. I just put on some tea, probably uh, everything will be fine. So she believes me and chooses to disregard the warning. But that was the issue right there, actually. Because the fire has started. So another five minutes pass by and there's this thick smoke coming from the kitchen. And I think the fire alarm wasn't even working at the time. Not sure why exactly, but it wasn't. So that thick smoke is coming from the kitchen. And I felt absolutely terrible because she had fever. With the fever and everything, she gets up and tries to put out the fire that was in the kitchen. And, well, needless to say after that, I was not making tea ever. Holy crap, how am I going to kill these guys? Yeah, so that's the sto story of how I screwed up making something as simple as tea for my wife when she was sick. But there is more stories coming up. So that's the tea story. Let me take this over here now. Moving out. And uh, we will quickly do end churn. How does one end churn? Um, hunker down. Yes, please. Hunker down. Yes, please. Hunker down. Yes, please. Hunker down. Yes, please. And now we are going to be doing Overwatch. Yes, please. Overwatch. Yes, please. Overwatch. Yes, please. And fire your weapon. 72% uh, chance is not bad. Uh, oh, come on. How do I change targets? Oh, come on. Tab. Oh, yeah. 72, 72. Okay. Let's fire at this guy first. Off we go. Are you kidding me? 72% chance and that's a miss right there. We've been spotted. Damn, that is bad. That is just bad, bad. Okay, at least kill somebody. Okay, that's dead. Missed. And one of them has to die. Oh, thank god. There's only one left and hopefully he does not possess a grenade. Excellent. Two promotions, sir. Okay, story number two. I try to make instant noodles. So, I'm an extremely lazy guy overall when it comes to making any types of food whatsoever. Whoa. Uh, yeah, I'm an extremely lazy guy. So, now, uh, again, to make instant noodles, 
what one has to do is just simply heat up water. And that seems to be one of the basic premises that I somehow always and always fail at. I just don't know what's up with me, but I can't heat up water no matter what. So then, the following thing happens. Uh, I'm lazy to heat up any food, so I decided I'd microwave the food. And by the way, for those of you guys that don't know, if you actually microwave water, it will blow up. It just does. There is some hyper heating or whatever the heck that thing is called. And if you heat up water more than you should, nice, dead. It's going to heat up. So what happens is I decide to put the water in the microwave for three minutes, which I have done. And then now I have a bowl of water. Weirdly enough, there wasn't that much steam coming out from that water. But I thought, what the heck. Move into position. There we go. I will... The advent oh, officers no. seem more capable than the grunts. They spotted me. Sure so I hit up. up I have this hot now bowl of water. And I thought everything's fine. I take out a pack of instant noodles. And I decide to drop the instant noodles inside the water. Needless to say, the bowl with instant noodles did blow up. And well, when it blew up, I had to scrape noodles off of the ceiling. So... Yeah, there we go. That's another incident that has happened that involves... Uh, me trying to make food and screwing it up as badly as it could possibly be. Uh, who? Where does she go? I guess she goes there. So that's story number two. Okay. Let's move on to story number three of how I almost set the whole house on fire. Overwatch? Yeah, please. And you, dude, go over here and Overwatch. Because if I put you here, this guy's going to throw a grenade and make me Heading very sad. So, Overwatch please, thank Got you. Their turn. What's he gonna do? Okay, this guy's marked, he's under nice cover, so who cares? Let him move. Is he going to shoot? Are you kidding me? Full cover! No way. Oh well. And... Mm-hmm. Well, typical XCOM style. What can I say, right? And even misses at him. Okay, that's fine. We'll be good. We'll be fine. Okay, there it is. I should have taken it way slower. And none of them want to leave their cover. That's the worst part about it. At least this guy should. Yes, thank you. Although Overwatch is quicker, well, there's only two of them, but he's already there. That's good. And we've got equipment. Need to get a closer look. Good. Okay, story number three. One of the days I was feeling extremely adventurous and I thought I'd make myself an omelet. My mom wasn't home to make me food and well, I was just stuck then by myself. And well, let's be honest, how difficult can it possibly be to just make an omelet? It's not rocket science, right? Or so one might think. But according to me, apparently it is a rocket science. Then uh, the following happens. Let me, if I go here, do I have a shot on him? So I decided to make an omelette. Uh, it, by the way, just for the story reference, it was back in the days when people had gas stoves. So that's what I was uh, using to make the omelette, by the way. Affirmative. So on. there is the gas stove. I choose to, oh, I can't even shoot that guy. Damn it. Well, at least I can throw a grenade at him. So that's Get what we'll do. Uh, so I take the frying pan. Uh, the eggs was some kind of, it's like a box they sell egg yellows or whatever it's called so that is exactly what I was using to make that omelette and I thought as I said everything would be Head fine there, there would be no issues whatsoever well that didn't work out as well as I thought it would work out he's going to kill never mind he didn't kill uh, yes so I put the frying pan put that thing in there and then I put that on a stuff suddenly the frying pan explodes in a bunch of flames, just left and right there's flames and I start panicking. One of the things that I do remember is if you put some salt on a grease fire then the fire will be extinguished. So of course it makes sense, just put some grease and you're good to go. But apparently that is still not the case. Uh, let me see if I can kill this guy by going here. I'm a little bit scared he's gonna murder me. Well, if he murders me, he murders me. What can you do, right? 
I cannot circumvent him in any way whatsoever. I can try shooting this guy 49% at 27, not good. I can try throwing a frag grenade, thus trying to kill this guy. Or trying to throw a frag grenade that doesn't kill him. So at the very least I blow the cover completely. This good. Is for you. Okay, so the flames go up. I take baking uh, I take no baking soda, I take salt, or so I thought it was salt at the time, and try to take out the flame. Well, apparently that was not salt, that was sugar. So what happens is flames turn from they were like yellowish, but they turn from yellow to horrible blue. And uh Oh, what? He will overwatch. Yeah, and they turn even higher. So at that point what happens... This guy overwatched, I lost the item. So at that time what happens, I panic. The flames are higher than ever and now they were actually starting... Like the flames were starting to lick the cupboard up... Uh, cupboard that was up there. Oh no, well, he missed it. Uh, I forgot about the overwatch there. And well, I tried to take out that flame. I did eventually succeed at taking out flame. But the part about it that really position. sucks. Ah, let me overwatch you here. Yeah. Everyone overwatches. You dude, you've been under so much damn fire, it's ridiculous. Okay, if he goes here, he can shoot him and kill him. Which will do. Head it there now. Okay. And you're going to shoot. And you've got 85% chance, which you'll miss. Oh, he didn't miss. That's impressive. Target disabled. Pretty damn good. The area is secure. We're not picking up any inbound contacts. Scanners are clear. Man damn, this is so much easier than extreme. So that was another one of we the stories that I've done. And uh, well, you guys already saw the episode where I got extremely sick from making the meal, and I've got pretty much quite it. a few other stories where I got sick. Oh yes, another story actually, and this would make fun of the Canadian health system. Let me plant this first. There we are. Menace one five. And Rendezvous at the extraction okay. Point. And by the way guys, if you're enjoying this and if you need some improvements Status on this, please let me know. Clear. And uh, excellent, we win. Uh, let me know please and I'll try to make this better. Anyway, so one of the stories what happened is uh, my mom went on vacation. The day before leaving, she made me very delicious soup. And she said, before you eat it, heat it up. Uh, I think she made chili for me on that day. So I was too lazy to heat it up. I decided to eat it cold. If you eat cold chili, for those of you that don't know, you will get very bad stomach ache. Unless if you've got a strong stomach, which I don't. And because of that, I got very sick. I spent the whole night puking and everything, and I had no idea what the hell was going on with me. And I couldn't reach my mom because she was still on the plane. So I... I puked until 6 in the morning and that's when doctor's office opened up. I decided to go to the doctor's office and what I've noticed is that doctor was there but once he asked me for all the symptoms I told him my symptoms and he told me that I had stomach cancer. Needless to say it was a hellish time for me waiting for my mom to get back and explain to me that I didn't have stomach cancer. Now this does make me sound like a mama's boy but I was relatively young at the time and I had no idea what the hell I was doing. There is that. And uh, I guess next episode I will talk about uh, why I believe some of the medical advancement is not as interesting to me, at least. But again, it's up for debate. It's going to be very weird, but we'll see. Now, who is she? The Ranger. Ranger. Primary reconnaissance unit. Nice. Capable of moving well, independently I think I will play some of the XCOM here. Range. With this difficulty, it seems to be easy enough. If you guys want to see more of this, let me know, and I'll continue doing this. I'll probably try to play XCOM and uh, talk about stories. I don't think I've got as many stories to talk about, really. So I've got Slash here, let's continue. Oh, and she's Russian, nice. Vasilieva. This is Nishimura, and there's Nelson. Nice! Who is he? Just like Sniper. Sounds, our sharpshooters engage enemy very, very with nice. pinpoint And by the way, I like their armor. Range. I don't think I'll be customizing it. Trained in pistol marksmanship for the occasional close excellent. Encounter. Just excellent. Yes, squad side. Very nice. 
and this guy, and he's a thicky. Operating some of our most advanced equipment. Awesome. Specialist. Well, that's what happened. On Nicely enough, I managed to feed everything inside an episode, so very happy about that. And uh, yeah, I have quite a few stories from when I was in cadets. A uh, few other stories from when I lived in Russia, so I think I'm slightly story packed there. If you guys are interested, as I said, let me know, and I'll do my darnest there. And now let's just do some actual gameplay here and Commander, manage stuff. To the research uh, class. It's the first episode, so I gotta click around and hear the stories. If you guys Commander, are done with the story, I mean, I'm done with the stories here, so you can. Stop watching. If you want to see the game, I'll shut up. The now. aliens have our entire world in their grip. Advent controls everything. Government, communications, industry. Not to mention the military. And it's on us to take it all back. Resources and time are tight, Commander. It'll be up to you to decide how to best use both. The ship is yours. While we prepare for new operations and continue our research, we can pass time by scanning at sites like this one. Okay. On your order, we'll Not start yet. our scans on the surrounding area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All Commander, that. the lab is currently idle. We're wasting valuable time and resources by not conducting any research. Orders. Please what the heck is up with their hairstyles? The Holy crap. For most of our soldiers, the living quarters on board the Avenger are a step up from the conditions they've had to live with on the ground. Okay. We've got Canadians even. Not bad, not bad at all. Research. Impressive, isn't it? Capable of generating immense power. Yet completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the aliens' technology, Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here. As well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, Given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. Okay, so there we go, let's do new research. What the heck do I want? Alien biotech, don't care. This takes two days, th I mean three days, three days, five days. Modular weapons. Uh, yeah, let's go weapons. I do find that area of research to be among the more intriguing op- Let's do engineering now. Okay, reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from their old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. It'll work. Commander! Getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you'd think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer. At your service. You were probably expecting to see my father. In all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's work. I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it, but from here... I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed with what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. I love those little rovers. There we go. Uh, 
new engineers build facilities will get you that. I wonder if this is what it was like in the old days. There is the armor. Always on edge, ready for a fight on a moment's notice. Oh, not Certainly bad. Certainly keeps you on your toes. Memorial. We've we already done what have we one can guy. to honor our fallen soldiers, Commander. Where is the guy? It's not fell? much, but it gives our oh. people a chance to pay their respects. There's already first one. Fallen soldiers. Yep, there we go. Uh, that sucks. Fabrizio Gallo. There we go. There is the command, which is oh, this thing, right? Okay. Anyways, we did what research for you, engineering. Let's uh, the inventory. Let's build facilities. There's room for us to expand our facilities on board the Avenger, Commander. It's but we'll need more engineers to clear out space for construction first. Okay. Alien debris. Twenty supplies. Supplies and alien alloy. So we are going to well. We need to get here. This is the power coil, I believe it's good, right? Right. Another power coil. So we'll dig this way. Alien machinery is going to give us more than debris, which I do enjoy. But then this will speed up the rooms. No, no, alien machinery. Commander, I'm going to need more help on the engineering team before I can start cleaning I out some of these other got rooms. No one, so. We should recruit an engineer. Okay, how do I recruit your engineer? No engineers. Can we build that? You'd be surprised how big of a difference some of these things can make in combat, Commander. With a few supplies, I can manufacture anything we need Flashback in no time. Key. Yeah. Okay. I guess it's just command. We'll scan till we get the next mission. Unfortunately. Commander, one of our resistance contacts just tipped us off to a site that may be worth investigating. investigating. Avenger plotting new course. I didn't even do anything and it's already on investigating. Oh well, maybe time moves as I don't do anything. Commander, oh, it does the move. Avengers Crap. remote scanning capabilities will help us search the area for Scan. clues or other resources. Three, it's going two, to take some time though. One. We, got a lot of ground we need engineers, cover. damn it. These findings will likely prove crucial Assign to our research. ongoing efforts, Commander. Yes, please. Yes, thank you for weapon upgrades. Hybrid materials, uh, alien biotech. Magnetic. Oh come on. Okay, hybrid materials. It is. I had assumed you'd make that research a priority, Commander. I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. Okay, so we go back there. We keep on scanning. I need to know how I get engineers. Strategic oh, resource that. located. Thank you. Setting course for so sector flying back 12. To HQ East there. Africa. I don't know why we always start at East Africa. That's a little bit interesting. Really? Another? Oh, thank Avenger God! It's an engineer. That's what we needed. Thank God. Okay, there we are. And we need scientists too. But engineers are fine for now. Commander, as the resistance continues uh, to grow, we'll have a better chance of finding openings to strike Operation back Iron Child. As it is, we've already identified a potential target to disrupt the aliens' Confirm. operations in this region. Hey, we Our get an engineer out of this one too, so... We'll have to move That's fast. Fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. We get an engineer. I don't care. Thanks. Okay, guys. I'm going to leave this at an episode. We'll start the next episode after this. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll be seeing you guys later. Bye. And by the way, let me know in the comments how you'd like me to improve the whole how I handle things. Okay, guys. Bye. Thank you.